Hi, my name is Rachel Turloff, and welcome to my lightning talk about my gross motor phonics decoding program that I made as an action research project. I'm thrilled to be presenting at the 25th International Conference on Learning in Athens, Greece. So to give you some insight on my project, I started with five students who were struggling to decode and blend nonsense words. We have a school-wide curriculum called Foundations, which connects a letter, a key picture, and a sound. Students are encouraged to tap out the words with their fingers, one tap to their thumb for each consecutive sound. You see the example here of mat, tapping out mat. Students would say m, at, mat, and blend the word together. So this pro phonics program is done as a whole group setting in my first grade classroom. And if you're trying it along with the video, you can see that tapping your fingers to sound out a word is not as engaging as it could be. Now the reason our phonics program is focused on decoding consonant vowel consonant or CVC words is because in order to read a multisyllabic word, your brain has to be trained to read chunks of the word at a time. So practicing these decoding skills with my tiger group or my five students is important because they need to learn how to read big chunks of words for second grade. However, my students were just not engaged, sitting on the carpet with 20 of their other peers, tapping their fingers to each letter sound. So after doing some research and taking a look at what actually excited my students, I realized that my students might either be overstimulated in a whole group setting or completely understimulated, tapping their fingers along to the letters. What I did from there is look at the data. My students were starting this intervention only being able to decode a single digit amount of words in a minute. The words I was having them decode were just those CVC or constant vowel consonant words. Only being able to do a few of those in a minute shows that my students were spending a lot of time trying to decode the words in text that I was putting in front of them in class. So taking a look at what letters exactly my students were missing allowed me to put up a few key letters or digraphs on our wall when I introduced punching, kicking, or tapping letters. Action. Okay. Word is facts. After introducing my students to this initial intervention, my note collection looked like a lot of scribble scrabble. I was jotting down anything students said, the sounds they were making, and I was giving them all the same words and seeing what they were doing. I realized this style of note taking wasn't efficient and wasn't really allowing me to take time to analyze what exact letters my students were missing. So we changed it up a bit. Say pick. Oh. How do you spell it? P I C K. What's the word? Pick. What's the word? Pick. To ensure that the intervention was fair for everyone, I made sure I had a few key phrases that I only said. Punch the word, mm. what's the word, and spell. This ensured my students were only getting the same types of prompts. Like I bop you on the head. What's the word? Bop. How do you spell it? B O P. After three weeks of doing this and progress monitoring my students every week, I saw that this intervention was in fact working. What a surprise to see that we went from single digit word decoding in a minute all the way up to double digits. If I say dab, punch out dab. What's the word? Dab. Show me a dab. By the end of our one month intervention, it was clear that my students were able to decode more fluently than when we started. What an exciting way to do phonics. By punching, kicking, or tapping out the sounds, I was able to analyze my student notes to see what exactly we need to work on next. B and D confusion were a big source for us to be working on. And in the future, I know that we are gonna be cranking up this intervention to add 
those welded sounds and glue sounds like ing, ang, ong, and um. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this lightning talk. It's been a pleasure speaking with you.